I'm oh. sharing my... Okay, is is good? Okay. Can you oh, see yeah. the, the presentation? Yeah. Okay, welcome to the, the geometry of smoothing and differential of periods. And... Uh, okay, it is going to be a lot of uh, uh, different mathematics going on in this seminar. And... Uh, uh, Basically, uh, for each seminar, we will send it to people who might be interested. So, uh, so usually there are not so many people. Uh, and uh, anyway, so today Daniel Lopez uh, is going to talk about homology support in a Lagrangian submanifold mirror quantic trifold. Okay, Lopez, go okay. ahead. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, good morning, everybody, and thanks for attending this. this uh, as Jose said, I, today I'm going to talk about my last word. It is again um, about homology supported in Lagrangian submanifolds in, in mirror quinting trifolds. Uh, so the, the talk is divided in three topics. The first one is about some definition and some basic results in Pican Lepsche theory. The second one is about monodromy action on mirror quintic. I'm going to give the explicit matrix for, for the monodromy action. And the last one, I'm going to, to compute uh, the orbits, or partially the, I'm going to compute the, the orbits of some Lagrangian submanifold by the monodromy action. So let me start with the, with the fixed, fixed, first topic, uh, basic on pick and left theory. So we consider a, a Keller manifold of real dimension 2n with the symplectic for omega. So in general, for a, for a symplectic manifold of dimension 2n, we can ask uh, which homology classes in the n homology can be realized by Lagrangian cycles. For n equal to, I mean for a symplectic manifold of dimension 4, we have uh, some results. The first one is by Schoen and Wolf, uh, and that is, we consider a homology class alpha, a two homology class, that is a Lagrangian homology if and only if this integral, the integral of the symplectic form over the, the cycle is equal to zero. But in this case, uh, the, the, the variety who realize uh, this alpha could be singular, have some singular points. If also we state this condition here that the the, the integral of the over the term class is equal to zero, also, uh, then uh, alpha is realized by immersed by an immersed Lagrangian. In this case, it's not necessary an embedded manifold. Another result by Li and Hu in 2000, 2012 is for a rational surface. Um, we have again a homology class, a two homology the question class. Question here: Here, the first chain class can be zero. Yes. Yes. Thank. You. Thank. You. Okay. Uh, uh, here, for a rational surface, uh, we have a homology class, and this is represented by a Lagrangian sphere. In this case, it's an embedded Lang sphere. If and only if uh, these previous integrals are zero, and we we state that the self intersection is minus two and alpha is represented by a smooth sphere. So for n equal to, we have a, like in a relation between Lagrangian realizations and that integral being zero. Uh, for n bigger than two, we don't have a natural generalization because we don't have a, this, this, this integral is not well-defined. However, for example, for hypersurface of Pn with n even, uh, uh, we can show that any n minus one cycle homology class is a linear combination of Lagrangian spheres, and this result uh, follows from picard lepsche theory. So uh, this is like a little motivation to use picard lepsche theory in approach to to the to the first question. So now now let me talk about the the main result in the in the work. Uh, I'm going to consider uh, the mirror quintic uh, calabi yau trifold, and I don't know, uh, like uh, X tilde. So this uh, manifold, this symplectic manifold, has a uh, dimension six. So
So we consider the three homology. And in this case, uh, the three homology is a, a free module of rank four. So the, the theorem is we can choose a, a basis in this homology such that these classes here uh, with coefficients in C2 and these classes here with coefficients in C5 are represented by Lagrangian free theory. And the homology classes, uh, these, these 10 homology classes uh, with coefficients in C2 and this homology class with coefficient in C5 are represented by a Lagrangian three spheres. And for these spray numbers, uh, three is seven. We call that, uh, that this H3 is of rank four and you have chosen a basis and you are writing, yes, yes. Your, you are writing in a basis of H3. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, I, I say that uh, this homology is a, a, a free module of rank four and we chose uh, this, uh, some basis such that dice, that cycles correspond with a, with a two manifold, in this case, a uh, three tori, and in this case, uh, three spheres. And for these prime numbers, uh, three, seven, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, uh, any homology class in three homology class with coefficient in CP different from zero, 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 uh, can be represented by Lagrangian three tori and by a Lagrangian three sphere. Uh, this is the, the main theorem in the work, and the target is to prove that. So, any question until here? Okay, let me continue. So, so uh, in, in picard lefsch theory, we have uh, two ingredients. The first one is monodromy action. Maybe it's the, the, the main ingredient in the, in the work. Uh, so, let me, let me uh, talk about this. So, we consider a a projective manifold Y uh, in some projective space. This is a symplectic manifold with the, the restriction of the Fubini study form. And also we consider an analytic map from Y to P1, a surjective and analytic with a finite number of critical points. Uh, and also we, we state that the, the critical points are not degenerate. So for any P, P critical point, by Morse lemma, we can write F like this shown here. It's just by locally, by, by Morse lemma, okay. Now let me consider a simple path uh, from the this interval in, in P1 minus the critical values. I denote C like the set of critical values of F. So this map give off a, because, because Y is compact, this map give off a, um, as a diffeomorphism between the fiber over the initial point of the path and the fiber over the end point of the path. This is by just taking local trivializations uh, over the over over gamma. Okay, and also because this map here is analytic, any fiber uh, is a, a symplectic manifold, which the restriction to a to a to a to a symplectic form to a fiber. So this map also is a simple, simple tomorphins. That means that this, this map uh, preserves the, the symplectic form in the, in the fibers. So uh, we denote X, uh, any, any regular fiber, and uh, we denote X, uh, omega X, uh, the symplectic manifold with the restriction, simple, uh, with the restriction of the form. And we have this map from the fundamental group of P1 minus the critical values into the simple tomorphisms of the of the fiber, with each take a gamma and we we give the the previous map. And this map descends to homology, this inducing the, the monodromy action. This is a, a an action from the fundamental group of P1 minus the critical value on the, the homology, the homology groups. Given by we take a, a loop and a cycle and we consider the push forward of given by P gamma applying to, to the cycle uh, delta. And this action again is, is by symplectomorphism. So uh, because it's by symplectomorphism, I want to, to mention that if some manifold in a fiber is Lagrangian, then uh, by, by using this diffeomorphism in the other fiber will be a Lagrangian too. 
Okay, now the, the next ingredient in, in the lecture speaker theory is uh, the Lagrangian, the, the vanishing cycles. So let me consider again a, a path into P1 uh, such that the, the last point is a, a critical value and the other points are, 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 are regular. Uh, we consider a P a critical point over the, the, the critical value gamma one and we define this set of points, B gamma, which are the points in the in the pre-image by F of the of the path gamma, such that they are converging to the critical point P when T goes to one. Uh, this set is called a uh, left shift symbol, and the intersection of this set with the regular fiber gamma zero is called the vanishing cycle. Let me give a uh, some picture, which is like an intuition. Uh, so, uh, in, in, in yellow, this cylinder are the, the regular fibers. For example, this cylinder out is the, the, the pre-image of, of gamma zero. And in blue is the, the, critical, the critical fiber with critical, critical point uh, P. And the, uh, the left shift symbol is just the union of this circle here, which are converging to this critical point. And the vanishing cycle is this, this boundary in red. Is clear the, <laughs> the idea? Okay. Uh, we have it is. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, we have this result, we can show that this uh, left shift symbol is a, a submanifold of, of white with the restriction of the Fubini study. And this uh, vanishing cycle is a Lagrangian sphere of a Lagrangian sphere, a sphere of, the, of the fiber with the restriction of the symplectic form to a, to a fiber. So uh, with this uh, vanishing cycles and, and monodromy, uh, we have another uh, a good formula, which is the Picard lecture uh, formula, which give us a explicit computation for the monodromy. So let me consider a, a regular fiber here and a cycle into the fiber. So I want to compute the monodromy around the critical value CI. And we denote delta I, the, the vanishing cycle associated to this critical value. So the picard lefschetz formula says that this monodromy here is a den twist. That means that this is delta plus uh, this number of intersection between delta and delta i times, times delta i. In the picture, for example, the intersection is just one. So the, the monodromy of this delta around ci looks like this, just como, like a den twist. So let me finish this first part with the with the the result that I, I said before about hypersurface in, in PM. But firstly, I want to, to mention this this fact, this this proposition or this this fact, yes, that is consequent by picard Leffe theory. Um, we consider a, a, a thin polynomial f with variables c1, cn. So the L minus one homology of any regular fiber is generated by the vanishing cycles. So now the the result that I, I said before is this: is we consider an homogeneous polynomial f capital F with variables c0, cn, with n even, and we consider the the, 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 the variety given by by this by this polynomial into Pn and we suppose that this is a, this is smooth this is a manifold then any n minus one cycle here when integer in, in a coefficient is a finite tune this finite tune where this this coefficient aj are in integer numbers and this delta j are vanishing cycles um, consequently, this is supported in a, in a, in a sum of uh, Lagrangian spheres. Okay, and the proof I is... This proposition, I think it is lacking N, uh, N out, because for N even there is 
some other cycle involved? No, Hossein, because because this is you, when you when you write, you consider here n plus one. So this is old. In this case, I consider just n. You consider oh. into n plus one, I think. When you write in your in your notation. Ah, oh, okay. Ah, n even. Okay, okay. You have everything. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, the proof is this: we consider a, a section C zero equal zero. We suppose that this intersect uh, transversely the the manifold X. Uh, we define the hyperplane section C. This intersection. We also define this this polynomial uh, F equal to capital F with by taking C zero equal one. And this uh, polynomial give us a vibration of, of Cn. So we, we can define this affine variety, the, the complement of C in X, which is defined also by the, the preimage of zero of this F. So we have this pair here, which induce uh, this sequence in homology. And uh, this map, for example, coming from the, from the inclusion map, map. And this map is the boundary map. So by Lirai Tom using uh, isomorphisms, we know that uh, this relative homology is isomorphic to H L minus three of of the hyperplan of the of, of C. Um, Lefsch's hyperplan theorem: we have this isomorphism here, and because n is even, that is zero. So this is this is zero. So this map here is is surjective. So any cycle here coming from a, a cycle here. And here by this fact, this is generated by vanishing cycle. So that, that is the proof. So let me continue with the second part. Mm, sorry. Uh, I'm going to talk now uh, about a monodromy action on, on mirror quintic. Firstly, I want to define what is a mirror quintic trifold. So we consider a uh, hypersurface in P4 given by polynomials of degree five. And that are, that are quintic Calabi-Yau trifolds. So I want to define the, the middle of this family. So we consider this uh, one parameter family of hypersurface in P4 X uh, phi with phi different from zero and one, these hypersurfaces are smooth. And these are given by, by this polynomial here, the Dewar family. And this phi is the, the parameter into, into P1. And again, from different zero and one, this is a smooth. So now let me consider this finite group G. When this is I zero, one, two, three, four are fifth root of unity, such that they are they satisfied uh, that relation, the product of there are equal one. Uh, we consider the action of G acting in, in P4 by multiplication coordinate to coordinate as, as here. And the, the mirror quintin Calabi trifold is considered this hypersurface by quotient by, by G, the quotient of this hypersurface by G. But this is not a smooth. This has some singularities. So the, the mirror is considered the, the resolution of, of these singularities. So then this, this mirror, we don't know this like uh, X tilde. And this is the mirror quintic calabi yau trifold. I, we, we sh just call mirror quintin for short. And this X tilde is again a, a calabi yau manifold of uh, complex dimension three. Um, by definition of calabi yau we have that there exists a three zero form eta, which vanishes nowhere. So we define the, the periods. The periods are functions which can be uh, defined like this integral here, the integral of the three zero form eta over the cycle delta, where these cycles are three, uh, three cycles in of, of the mirror quintic with integer uh, uh, coefficient, coefficients. 
Now, let me introduce this uh, differential equation. Is the Picard-Fuchs equation. Uh, this is theta to a four minus the, the parameter here times theta plus one over five and so on, where theta is this this operator here, the parameter times the, the, the derivative with respect to, to the parameter. And this, this differential equation or the solution of this differential equation are these, these periods, the periods of the mirror quintic. So uh, this is a four order linear equation. So they have a four, um, four, solu four fundamental solutions and as I said before, this three homology is a, a module of rank four. So we have a, an isomorphism between the space generated by the, by the solution at the, and the homology with real coefficient, for example. And this is just by taking, we consider some basis here and we take the, the integrals here. And they are linear independent solution of this uh, equation. So this equation has uh, three regular singular points, R0, uh, uh, what, and infinity. And the analytic continuation of the solutions give up uh, the monodromy matrices M0, M1, and N infinity, uh, around to 0, 1, and infinity, respectively. And because the monodromy is a representation of the fundamental group of P1 minus 3 points, that's in uh, into the symplectic manifold of, of rank 4, we have this relation here, m0, m1, and times m infinity is equal to the identity. This is because uh, we, if we take a loop around to a, these, these three points, this loop is contractible. So we have this identity. Um, so by th there is a result by Doran Morgan in 2005 is that there exists a, a basis such that these matrices, monodromy matrices in zero and in one, can be written explicitly like this. In zero is, is this matrix here, and um, one is this matrix here. Okay, there is a, another work, the, the classic work, I, I think is the beginning of the working mirror symmetry. It's a work by, by Candelas, De La Osa, Green, et al. in 1991. And they compute the, the, the monodromy matrices also for the, for the mirror quintic. But in this case, they consider this polynomial P psi, which the parameter appear here, not here, at the previous one. And in this case, the, the family is defined dif for psi different to one and infinity. And to this family, we, we uh, sorry? Psi to the five, not just psi. Yes. Yes. Psi at root of uh, fifth root of unity. It is OK. Go ahead. Yes. Thank you. Uh, and in this case, we have uh, the monodromy matrices associ associated to this family are S infinity, which is this, this, this matrix here, and S1, this matrix here, that is equal to the previous one. So we have uh, this chain of variable, psi equal to phi to the minus 1 over 5, and we obtain the, the previous polynomial P psi, P phi, and also, if we take this mono, uh, this matrix M, we can conjugate uh, these matrices to a previous one. For example, this is conjugate to M1, and F infinity is conjugate, oh, sorry. Uh, this S infinity is conjugate to M0 to 5. Uh, that means that a loop around to, to infinity in this basis correspond to a loop around zero five times, and this, is, it's maybe it's not obviously, but this is some idea. Is this 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 power here? Okay. Uh, more generally, we have this differential equation again theta four minus the parameter here, and here is a and b, and for fourteen numbers a and b, uh, pairs number of, uh, we have uh, fourteen example of of Mirro Abijao trifolds. 
for example, in our case, in the previous case, was 5 equal 1 over 5 and b 2 over 5. And for, for this differential equation, the, in the Doran and Morgan work, they compute also the, these matrices of the, of the monodromy matrices, and M1 is as, as the previous one. And this M0, the general M0, is, is this, with these values here, D, D, and K. In, our, in, the, in the quintic case, uh, D and K are equal 5. So now let the, the last part, the last part in, in the work is about the, the computation of, of the orbits of some Lagrangian submanifold by, by the monodromy action. So, sorry. So in the in the work of Candela, they compute explicitly some some cycles, and they give off the the coordinates to describe these cycles. For example, the cycle delta four is associated with the the generation with the side goes to one, and this is written like this, uh, with in the affine coordinates uh, c zero equal one. We take these three first variables, C1, C2, C3, uh, being real numbers, and this C4 is given by by this equation here, P size equals zero when size go one. And we can show that this delta four is a is a vanishing cycle. That means that this is a Lagrangian sphere. So and the proof is just is just considered in this in this affine coordinate c0 equal in the affine coordinate c0 equal one. We consider this polynomial, uh, which is defined by p psi and taking c0 equal one. And the critical points here are not degenerate, uh, and they are identified after of the equation by the group G with this number here. And the critical value is this, which corresponds with the with the, the generation with psi goes to one. And this is basically the 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 the, the ingredient for, for the proof of that is a, a vanishing cycle, a, a critical point which is not degenerate. There is a, another cycle, delta two, which is associated with the degeneration with psi go to, to infinity, and this is written like this. We take C0 equal 1, and we fix uh, the norm of C1, C2, C3 for some R uh, small enough, and the C4 is given by, the, by this equation, okay, when psi goes to infinity. Uh, we can see that this is a torus, and the, the, we can show also that this is a Lagrangian submanifold of, of, of the hypersurface. And the proof is just by using some of, of symplectic theory, is we consider a Hamiltonian S1 space, uh, C5 minus the origin with the canonical form. And we consider S1 acting here by multiplication. And we consider this momentum map mu which is the, the minus norm square plus one over, over two. For this uh, momentum map, the, the zero is a regular value and the preimage of zero is this sphere S9. So uh, we consider this sphere and we consider the quotient by the action of S1 and we obtain P4. And by Martian Weissan theorem, we have here a uh, a symplectic form, which is the restricted symplectic form, and in this case corresponds with the with the Fubini static form. And this form here, this symplectic form, satisfies that the pullback by pi is equal to the pullback of the form here by, by the inclusion. So we have the Fubini study form, the pullback of the Fubini study correspond with the pullback of the canonical form, this canonical form. Symplectic form. So we can define this uh, manifold T uh, into S9, 
uh, just by fix the norm of CCO equal epsilon for some epsilon small enough, and we fix the this this norm of C1, C2, and C3 equal to this R here. And the norm of C4 is just by satisfy that they are in into the S9. Also, uh, the projection of this T by pi intersecting with the with the hypersurface is equal to the to the cycle to this cycle here. And also, we can know that this T is a Lagrangian two manifold here because if we write the the canonical form like this. Uh, and we fix the norm. Uh, this is this is okay. This is a Lagrangian sub manifold here. Um, by this property, by taking the pullback is equal to taking the pullback of the canonical form. We have that uh, we have that this is zero. The pullback of the Fubini study restricted to t is zero. And by definition of pullback, this is just the Fubini study restricted to uh, consequently. Uh, Delta two is a Lagrangian sub manifold. So uh, until here we have uh, some two, two Lagrangian sub manifold. One is uh, supported in a Lagrangian three sphere, and the another one is uh, supported in a Lagrangian three torus. And we have explicit uh, mon uh, expression for the for the monodromy action. And remember that the monodromy is given by symplectomorphism. So now let me give an explicit form for the homology class associated to delta two and delta four. And I'm going to use this delta two for the homology class of the three torus capital delta two. And this delta four is the homology class for the three spheres capital delta four. So, um, Remember that this cycle delta four is the is associated with the degeneration with uh, around to 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 one. So by using Picard Lecce's formula, we can compute the the monodromy of this cycle delta two around to to psi equal one to a singularity equal the singularity one, and this is delta two times the intersection between delta two and delta four. But this is just this intersecting one point times delta four. So we have this explicit uh, formula here, and because we have the this explicit matrix, we can show that this delta four has this form here. This is this vector in in the in this base in the base at which we write this matrix S one and S infinity. Uh, also, by using an analogous argument, uh, we want to compare the monodromy of the delta two around to infinity. But again, this delta two is the this is associated with the degeneration with psi goes to to infinity. So we have by picard lecher formula that this is equal uh, to delta two plus the cell intersection of delta two. But in this case, and is is old is three, so the self intersection is is zero. So we have this formula here, and because we have again the the explicit form for this matrix here, we can compute delta two and delta two satisfies this expression. Is this expression here? This vector here. So just for a for for just yes, and a comment here. Uh, this delta two and delta four are invariant by by the matrix M. This matrix M is the matrix which conjugate which conjugate uh, the matrices S one to N one and S zero F infinity to N zero to F five. And this why this is because um, in the words of Candela we have an, this explicit form for delta two and delta four, uh, which uh, can be uh, which let us to to show that they are symplectic but uh, in the world of, of more uh, Dolan and Morgan we have another example of Calabi Yao trifold so we have an, a general expression for the matrix M0 so we can compute also the orbit of of this matrix M0 and M1 for this other example However, in this case uh, I don't know if these cycles correspond to a uh, 
Lagrangian sphere or Lagrangian torus, like uh, as in the Quintic case. So let me continue. So let H be the subgroup of the symplectic matrices of rank generated by N0, 2, F5, and N1, the, the, the free world. Uh, the free group, group generated by work of these two matrices. And consider a, a three cycle, three homology class. So, in conclusion, we have that if this homology class is in the orbit of delta 4, then uh, this, is a, this is supported in a Lagrangian three sphere. And if this homology class is in the orbit of delta 2, then it's an, it's an homology class supported in a Lagrangian three torus. So I would like to, to compute these orbits here explicitly, but unfortunately, I don't, I don't know how to do that. So far, I don't know how to do. But I have uh, some partial results, and that is by considering coefficients in, in CP. And this is basically because uh, this is a a set of finite numbers of elements. So we can compute explicitly for, for some prime numbers. But uh, however, I, I, I have a smartphone to, to do that. And this is by noticing this identity here. is the matrix M0 to 5 times P square modulo P is the identity, identity matrices in identity matrix. And N1 to P modulo P is the identity, identity matrix here. So I have some algorithm to, to compute this, the orbit. And this is this algorithm. Let me explain that. Uh, v could be the, the vector delta 2 or the vector delta 4. M0, M1 are the previous matrices. M0 could be the, the, general, the general matrix with the values d and k. And this p is a, a some prime number. The output of the algorithm is the orb P, which is the orbit of the vector B by modulo P. So we use these two auxiliary list of vectors, W alt and W new. And we initially state W alt with the empty set and W new with the modulo B of modulo P of the vector B. So in any step of the algorithm, uh, we add to the w new this vector here which is which this u is in the in the previous list and m0 to 5 go from 0 to p square minus 1 by using this identity this is all possible work here um n1 uh, to j and j goes to 0 go from 0 to p minus 1 and i am using this identity here and in any pay, in any step, uh, we we compare the, the 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 both lists, and if they are equal, we finish, and this is the complete orbit of of the vector b, and this algorithm it is finite because I as I said before, this this set here is it's finite. So this is the the algorithm for compute this this orbit modulo p. So now the the proof of the of the main theorem is just by consider g and k uh, equal five, and given p prime number, we denote or p delta two and or p delta four, the orbit of delta two and delta four modulo p. So for p equal two, we have by using the algorithm we have that the orbit of delta two are this vector here. And the orbit of delta four e are the stem vector here. And for p equal five, the orbit of delta two are this vector, this five vector. And the orbit of of four is this vector here. Okay. Uh, for this prime number. 3, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23. We compute the orbits. And the orbits in this case are the whole homology with coefficient in, in, in CP without this vector, 0, 0, 0. 
uh, okay, we think that for for another for for other prime numbers, uh, this uh, identity holds, and this is consequence of the on the next conjecture. Uh, with this conjecture, I am going to finish the talk. And so, let me consider this map from the three homology with integer coefficient of the mirror quintic, or in general of yes, in, of the mirror quintic, into the into a three homology with coefficient in in CP given by by taking modulo p. So, if delta is a primitive class. That means that there is not a, another another homology class and a multi an integer such that this delta could be right like the product of this number, this number times another cycle. So if this is a primitive class such that they are this is it is in the in this orbit, in the orbit of delta two, then modulo p of delta. It belongs to RP of delta two for all prime numbers, and analogous for for delta four. If we have a primitive class in the orbit of delta four, they uh, it will belong to to modulo p will belong to RP of delta four for all prime numbers. This is this is this is true. This is not the conjecture. The conjecture is the the converse of this fact. And what does it mean? Is we consider a, a primitive class delta in the three homology with integer in, 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 uh, coefficients, and if modulo two of delta is in the list four five and modulo five is in the list seven, then delta is represented by a Lagrangian tritorus. Let me come back to this uh, slide here. Again, if we consider a, a primitive class in, with integer coefficients, and if we compute a modulo two of this cycle, and it is in, in this list here, at modulo five, it is in this list, then uh, this is supported in a Lagrangian tree torus. And again, if, or oh, analogously, if we consider a, a primitive class such that uh, modulo 2 is in this list and modulo 5 is in this list here so this is supported in a in a Lagrangian three sphere uh, yeah this is a, a conjecture and okay I think that was very short I don't know why <laughs> but this is this is all thank you Thank Some you. question. Yeah. A little bit fast, uh, but anyway. This is, uh, yes, yes. I don't know why. I I, I practiced before and I I use fifty minutes maybe, but today maybe I forget something part. <laughs> I hope anyway, that is yeah. not important part. <laughs> okay. One of one of the ideas of this seminar is that the people start practicing. They have to give all my talks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So, that's my first clap. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Any question? Younes, uh, another part of... Uh, <laughs> I have a question. Is it possible to, complete, uh, to compute this uh, cycle explicitly? I know that you gave them uh, in the... In a basis, but uh, in a in a algebraic way. Uh, I don't know. I, I just to to compute by using the, the split explicit matrices, and I know that they have to satisfy this monodromy relation, and I know that they are a basis for C four, so they have to 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 have this explicit form in this basis. Mm, but uh, this in the unit. By, 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 uh, way Excuse me? in a uh, in an algebraic way you don't have any expression in an algebraic way no no i don't know I you don't know, know. If but i i interested in in the expression in the basis of the matrices for this reason i i i compute in this form well, then do you know if it is possible to give it in an algebraic 
an algebraic expression for this cycle? Topology. I, I don't know what, what you mean by algebraic. We give an equation for the... Of what, of what exactly? An equation of? Of the cycles. <laughs> No, the, uh, the equation he wrote, I mean, it is the equation of the, the, the mirror quintic, but the real locus mainly, at least for the, one of the first examples, the, the delta 2 or delta 4. But uh, the equation, and the other one was, uh, again, the equation of the mirror quintic plus the norm of the variable to be constant. I mean, these are the, the real, these are real uh, objects, so they must, they have real equation, not the algebraic equation. But algebraic question in terms of the in terms of the real and imaginary part of the variables they have. No. Okay, there there is another form. It's not like an algebraic, but if you consider the, the work of Mor Doran and Morgan, uh, you know that some cycle here, for example, I, I don't know delta two, correspond with some special vector, which satisfies some property of the matrices. We can describe these matrices. Uh, the monodromy matrices with some property of linear algebra, like uh, to be a unipotent matrix, and they satisfy this this product, this relation of the product, and some vector here satisfy uh, that they the, it is in a kernel of some matrix. Yeah. So maybe this is an uh, algebraic expression or linear algebraic expression, <laughs> if you want. <laughs> okay, thanks. Okay, okay, no more question. Uh, there is no question. So, so it remains. Okay, so we see each other next week. Next week, uh, by some reason, uh, we will start at 10 o'clock. I have written in the web page. And uh, yeah, okay. Once again, thanks, Daniel. Okay, thanks. See you. <laughs> thank you. Okay, okay, thank you. Bye bye, everyone. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.